second page of the seventh chord reviews in minor. This is now pinpointing actual scale degrees, right? Um, and if you make a mistake here, it's that you don't know your minor scales or you're having problems thinking through them. I mean, you can spell them, but you're, you're not recollecting and pinpointing specific notes. So five in G minor is that. Lowered seven in D sharp minor is C sharp right there. Instead of C double sharp, three is going to be D flat. Two is F sharp. Raise seven is going to be E sharp. Right now, how do I know these things? Well, um, let me quickly go through what you might be thinking about. You either know your minor scales and you can think through them very quickly, but there's tricks like, for instance, you know that if you want the dominant, you just take the tonic and go G B flat D, spell the triad there, and you'll get the root third fifth. So you can get fifth note or third note B flat minor triad B flat D flat F. That's all possible, right? For twos, well, it's a whole step above, and it's got to be the next note name, so that's better. Sevens, you got to think the letter below, D, C, and then you have to think a whole step down, right? Or F goes down to E for seven, but since it's raised, it's a half step down. So you want your major and minor seconds that we've been practicing before to really stick in your head, right? Okay. So six, you can go backwards a major third, or you could go E flat, G, B flat, and then up a half step to C flat. Or you could think E flat major, which would be, you know, three flats, so the C would not be flat, and then lower it because six is lower in minor than it is in major. Tonic is C, okay? Anyhow, I'm going to go through these. It's not just practice. It's uh, thinking methodically through these. G minor, sorry, G, raise seven will be B sharp, right? Half step below. Five, you go A flat, C flat. Right? Three in A sharp minor will be C sharp, because a minor third above, root third fifth, right? Of this chord, right? Four will be E flat. We're not worried about qualities, we're just pinpointing scale degrees. That's what this is about right here. Lowered there will be E flat, whole step down, tonic is A, two will be a whole step up, right? Five will be B, D, uh, sharp, F sharp for the minor chord, so F sharp. Three will be E, G, B, so it'll be a G. Four will be, well, you can go F sharp, A, and then go up a step, which would be F sharp. And then six in this, we can go down a major third, or you can go up a minor six, would be B like that right there okay this one I think is more difficult than the last sheet uh, because most people barely learn to spell their scales or even if they learn to spell them pretty well they don't have a lot of experience thinking through like this remember for the root or the third or the fifth you simply spell the triad the a minor triad a sharp minor or F, like this kind of thing here and you can get the root third or fifth from that chord right Four. Well, if you can go uh, like B D flat B flat D flat F, then you know that it's a whole step up from the from the D flat, right? Uh, if you want the six, it's a half step up from the five. So here, where we wanted um, six, we go D sharp F sharp A sharp, then we go up a half step, right? So you want to train yourself to think about this. And again, raised or leading tone is a half step below. You got to think about what's a half step below. And then lowered is a whole step below, right? A step, though. Always be careful not to enharmonically spell these incorrectly. Seventh of an F chord is always E, regardless of what kind of F chord it is, right? Okay. All right.